BC 2025 students. This is uh, Jamie Mason, the assistant principal, and Danny Jaber, who is speaking, the director of Pathways here at CRC Sydenham. We're just going to talk you through the VC study stream on web preferences. It's a really straightforward process uh, to enable you to be able to choose your subjects um, for 2025. Um, when you log in, and you'll be given, given uh, individual logins for this, you'll be greeted by this page here. Um, really straightforward stuff. First thing is you need to choose your English uh, subject. That is a compulsory subject for the VCE. So you do have to do one stream of English. You have a choice there of doing mainstream English, which is what the majority of our students do. English language, which is a bit more of a science-y technical um, variation of English, um, or English literature. Um, please understand though, if you choose English literature, there is an additional form that needs to be completed. Um, um, and that is because we do need to ensure that uh, as a literature student, you have shown the uh, tenacity and, and desire to undertake such a, a deep and strenuous uh, form of English, which includes lots of reading. The other variation is EAL English. Uh, important to note for that, um, you need to have um, been educated in Australia for less than seven years when you are in year 12. So that's thinking about 2026, you need to have been educated for less than seven years in Australia to qualify for that. So please be careful if you are choosing that and there is an additional form for that subject as well. And I'm gonna talk about uh, the RE component. Uh, when you head to this section, you'll see that is also compulsory. And the options that you have here are to do a single unit of RE which will uh, get you one VCE unit and couple that with a private study. Uh, now that might be an option for many of you. There is a, the second one is applied RE, which involves uh, a fair bit of time outside of school on camps and, uh, and whole day activities. It's related to the scout uh, group that we have here at the college and it does lead to a couple of vet certificates in um, recreation and business. If you're thinking about doing that course, please be aware that you will be required to undertake some kind of selection process. Uh, so, and certainly uh, if you're unsure about that, if you're not sure about the time commitment, then I would uh, strongly advise you not to choose that. You also have the opportunity to do RE for two units across the year, that's religion and society, two VCE units, and another one called text and traditions. <coughs> Finally, if you're thinking about uh, doing a 3-4 subject, perhaps Religion and Society Unit 3-4 might be an option for you. That certainly is a possibility. When you're doing uh, both English and the RE component, please make sure that you tick these boxes, yes or no, and because uh, that's, that's an important one as well. Once you've done English and RE, we then head into the optional details or the options, and you can see we've labeled these priority one, two, three, and four. And the reason we've done that is because it is important to put these in order of preference. So when you head to priority one, you'll see in this section, there's all of our year 11 subjects, as well as quite a few of our year 12 subjects. Now, the reason it's in priority one only is because we need you to, if you're going to do a unit three, four next year as a year 11 student, this is where you'll put your choice. And understand also that if you're going to be doing a unit three, four as a year 11 student, we'll need recommendations from your school. It's obviously going to be a step up, a big step up. Um, so we want to make sure that people who are choosing that those subjects are ready to do them. You'll also notice in this option, there are no VET subjects. You will be able to do VET subject, subjects in other options, but not this one. And we're also asking you to choose um, the fact that if you are choosing a unit three, four, that you understand that it's going to be an increase in work expectations. I'll head over and head back to Danny. Um, and then obviously you continue working your way through the different priorities um, and obviously thinking about the order of those priorities as well. Um, we have helped you out by noting at the side of each of these that the next two are compulsory. Um, we, the expectation is that these are the minimum number of subjects you take with us whilst you are doing your VCE. Uh, and then the final uh, option is recommended, but we do highly recommend you do choose an additional subject. So in this case, I'm 
might choose something like philosophy. And the reason we do that is because uh, at the end of year 12, you need to have 16 S results, 16 units. Um, and to get that as a minimum, um, we do require you to have that air of comfortability as you as you kind of get through uh, year 11 and year 12 and and we don't want you stressing over the number of units you might or might not achieve so um, year 11 is a really good time to ensure that you are above and beyond the minimum number of units uh, and then year 12 you can really concentrate on those uh, subjects that you require for further education at the bottom here there is one more option that is for a reserve subject please do take the time to think about that and consider that carefully uh, we try our very best to ensure you don't need your reserve subject but uh, unfortunately when you've got 950 students um, all adding to the same timetable um, it means that some students are going to miss out on one or two of their options. Just on, on priority four just be aware that if you have already completed say um, retail cosmetics year one in year 10 then you can choose year two down there in, in that priority four so uh, that will be that will be a few of you. Likewise, if you have already completed at your uh, seven to 10 school, let's say you've completed uh, unit one and two physical education, then you could choose year 12 physical education down here. You don't have to have completed unit one and two to choose a three, four, but if you're in that situation, we'd wanna know that your school is recommending you. Right, I'm happy with that. I've chosen my subjects. I now click on the big green button, proceed. Uh, what follows um, will be an outline of what you've chosen. Um, so just be careful and, and read through that to make sure the right entries are in there. Um, and then what follows that, once it does load, it can sometimes be slow when there are a lot of people on it, um, you'll get a copy of a receipt as well. So you need to make sure you check the list. Yep, I'm happy with that. I then press submit. Um, as you would have seen there, there was a total uh, and it linked to a number of dollars there and that comes up again. But this is the receipt that does um, follow on the next page. And as you can see here, depending on the number of um, levies I have to pay, this is my total, $150. Um, I then have uh, a method for making payment for those subjects here at the bottom as well. <coughs> We do um, require you to make that payment uh, as soon as is possible. Uh, that way we can submit your preferences and, and we can get you into our timetable as soon as possible as well. As you would have been told at the Twilight Open evening, it is compulsory uh, for you and your family to attend a final subject selection interview on the 14th of August. Thank you everyone and good luck with your selection process.